And sitting pretty, sitting pretty, sitting pretty, sitting pretty. Why can't what? keeping it real be classy? Okay. Why can't keeping it real be let me hold my peace and let me move on? Why can't keeping it real be, you know what? They may have done that, but I'm going to respect them and move forward. Why can't that be keeping it real? Right, right, right. 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 Hey everybody, my name is Tracy, owner and founder of Trace Your Life Coaching. If you yearn to live powerfully, purposely, and prosperously, I can help you. I've been transformed and aligned with my purpose and will be honored to help you align with yours. I help those who yearn to love their life, free from fear and the restrictions of others. I coach privately or in group sessions, in person or remotely. You can find me on Facebook at Trace Zen, my website traceyourlife.com, or give me a call at 480-788-8735 to book your session. Your session, your session. So used to saying like good morning, good afternoon, what other stuff I do. So give me one second. <laughs> and we are back to episode ten of sitting pretty and keeping it what real. Ooh, I like the way that sounds. All right. <laughs> so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have celebrity chef Nick Fields with us in the building. How are you doing? Ooh. I'm doing good. How are you? We're doing great. Thank you so much for coming out and showing out for us. So, you know, she she treated us tonight, and this is a, yes. Yes. a usual... I feel like Christmas. Yeah, right. it's a spin. <laughs> so, before we go into the twist, everybody else, you want to go ahead and give your introduction? Queen B in the house. It's Kimmy Well Pretty Tap. Spicy T. It's T to the E. And it should grow in the case. So as I said before, we have Miss Neek Fields with here, here with us tonight. And she's a celebrity chef, a woman of many hats, creator of Taste of Chic, pop-up dining. She's a philanthropist, a foodie, an author, an herbalist. You got it. You're a woman of many hats. Try to be. Try yes, to be. yes. <laughs> so uh, given that you have so many hats, I know that you're probably busy. So you took time out of your busy schedule. To come sit with the ladies and sit and pretty, and we appreciate that. I'm yes, blessed to be you. here. And cook Excited to us. be here. Yeah, and cook yes, for us. You, right. And so, drinks. Yeah, and drinks. So we're going to tell you guys about that. So she made a whole spread for us tonight. If so, only y'all could see I know, exactly. We're over here with our pinkies all the way. We'll tell you. We'll tell you. Look at the pictures. Right. Follow us. Look at the pictures. We bougie. We bougie. Pinkies up. All right, so we're going to start with the drinks tonight. We have, she made us a lavender lemon martini. Oh, that's that lavender. So, yes. yes. And it is tasty, garnished mm -hmm. with a slice of lemon and mint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the rim is sugar rim? Vanilla sugar. Vanilla oh. sugar. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Like I'm going to make sure I get all that sugar off there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going it off. That's the best part. Yeah. She ain't right. even going to have to wash the dish <laughs> She's going to let us keep the glasses. <laughs> I'm going to slurp all that. She'll be like, girl, go ahead and keep that. <laughs> Donate. That's <laughs> yours. Man, as well as the drinks tonight, we have a pear salad with a champagne pear vinegar. Ooh. Ooh. Tasty. Tasty. I'm pretty sure that has a nice little tang Not to it. Yeah. Mm, I can't wait to try that. Yes. Well, the ladies, we love salad. We love mm -hmm. greens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Drinks and food. <laughs> <laughs> Man, as well as that, she made us a five spice tacos with cilantro yeah. Ooh, and lime crema. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's all you need. She thinks she's Spanish. <laughs> right. Wait, Spanish. But didn't it sound good? It did. It did. It did. It did. It right, right over the board. He's going to put that wall up right by you. Right. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I can't wait to taste those. I'm looking at them right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And last but not least, we have a red velvet. Ooh, cheese cake. Mm, I know yes. everyone in here probably loves cheesecakes. Yes. Mm. I can't wait to slice into that. Can I okay. eat that before we eat this? Okay. <laughs> I always eat dessert first. <laughs> <laughs> always. Man, you can leave uh, that when you leave. <laughs> I will. I don't need it. <laughs> I'm so done. All right. So tonight, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. We have hot topics. You ladies ready? Yes. Y'all yes. ready to roll? Okay, yeah. here we go. So we're going to start with the, we're going to keep it sweet tonight. So Louis Vuitton introduces wireless headphones for almost $1,000. Mm -hmm. I stick with Beats. What do you think about that? And you want to see a picture of how they look? They just look like... See, and I'm a label whore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. So, with that being said, mm -hmm. that would be something I would request for a birthday mm -hmm. or Christmas or mm -hmm. something like that. I would do it. Okay. I definitely would do it. Mm -hmm. 
But that's better than that paper clip from Tiffany's. Have you seen the, the no. Tiffany's paper clip? Mm-hmm. Just uh-uh. the paper clip from Tiffany's, two hundred and ninety dollars. Wow. Wow. It's, it's just the Tiffany blue, and that's it. It's not even Tiffany's yeah. blue. It's oh, just goodness. a regular paper clip, and on like right, you know, how the paper clip is really thin. Yeah. On the thin yeah. side, it just says Tiffany's. That's oh. it. Too. Oh, wow. But you know, it doesn't have the Tiffany's blue. Nothing. Yeah. Just okay. you have to, you know, zoom in. <laughs> so did they give you like a magnifying glass with it so you can see? Oh. They should. <laughs> but I just think, like, why would somebody pay that much yeah. for? Just one paper clip. Those are paper clip. Heated individual. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) So at least those are functional. Yeah, Yeah. true. True. Um, It's a no for me. (laughs) I'm like her. I'm going to put it on a wish list. Yeah. Right. That's it. Um, I wouldn't even really wish that. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll support everybody's cause. Well, I don't like Bluetooth things. Outside of oh, Bluetooth uh, thing, yes, I would give yeah, it if it was a necklace or something else. But yes, I can. So you wanna, you wanna wireless all that radiation necklace? and all that radiation going in your ears? I don't want it from nobody. Hold on, but I do want to go back to that uh, paper clip. Though. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying though, like, what if you have to use it to like TV or something? You need it for like an antenna, or something you got to stick it. <laughs> or open the lock. Or open the like, lock. Break it all the way down. That'll be a total. That would be yeah. what? I would be. Or it's on the ground of your car in the vacuum. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I would be. Uh, that's that's a paper clip. You just need to frame and yeah. put it on your desk yeah. or put it up yeah. on the wall. Right. Put it somewhere. Yeah. Please. It's definitely not for you. Gave use. it to me. I'll frame it. Yeah, there, <laughs> you exactly. there you go. There you go. Um. I mean, I'll buy their bags, but headphones. No. 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 Not the AirPods. No. She lying. How about this? I'll get them. Them. How about this? I would get them, but I won't be using them. But people think I'm using them because I don't want the radiation. Mm-hmm. But I like the look of them. For $1,000? Have you seen them? Well, if, if, if I could pay $1,000, man, no matter. I ain't say I'm going to pay 1000 now. <laughs> but <laughs> when I do right? pay the $1,000 right. for them, I would wear them for the look, but not to actually so use them. So they would Let be on. They would just be in your ear. I've seen them already. They look cool. They do look cool. Mm. They do. Yes. Are but I just the same earbuds like Ray J's? I don't know. Ray J got earbuds? Yeah, he got a lot of electronics. He got earbuds. But is is it like how Apple got those little buds? Same scenario? Yeah, it's the same. They don't look like them. But But the same concept. Yeah, exactly. But as soon as you lose one, you're going to be on the ground looking. uh, Somebody's going to step on it. And then you're going to be like, oh. Mm -hmm. Or if you and your mate get them and then you break yours, you trade them out. Because I did that before. Oh, <laughs> jacked them for that. Same colors. It was them Apple ear things. I jacked them. The I broke color? my. Yeah, they was black. I broke his. <laughs> I broke my. Right. Oh, I remember when Apple. You need had trust a in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She Queen said, B. I said I would buy their bags, but I just wouldn't spend a thousand dollars on no headphones. Yeah. Mm. If you hit the uh, the lottery. Yeah. She lying. She be like, I got everybody. You have three hundred million in the bank. You not buying their headphones? And then have your hair behind your ear. Make sure, make sure everybody sees that in your ear. Exactly. Matter of fact, pull it back in a ponytail. <laughs> Y'all see me? Right. <laughs> yes, she would. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't buy them. Would you wear them? Mm. If they were given to you. As a kid, I, yeah, I guess they would have to be like all black or something though, and I don't even want the symbol on them. That could be yellow, and you gonna wear them? No, probably not. Yeah, no, maybe not. What is she mm-hmm. looking at me like that for? You'll be wearing them. Okay, look, I'll, just to make you happy. Yeah, I'll wear them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we gonna move on. So, how do y'all feel about another Fast and Furious? I saw this today, and I was just like, is it the, isn't it kind of played out now? It's nine, like. Why? Is it Fast and Furious or is Fat it a, furious? Uh, like a spinoff with just mm-hmm. The Rock and... It's Fast and Furious 9. It's yeah, been that many? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't watch it because it's just too funny. I haven't watched it since the Fall cute Walker. guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I haven't watched like, it. Like what? Three? It's not the same. Rest like in peace to my boo. I can't yeah. even remember. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long yeah. time. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I just yeah, never got into it. That down. So is Tyrese in the new one? Ooh. Right. Because they didn't the him like The Rock have Well, some. because, no, they had a spinoff. It's The Rock, um, Jason Statham, whatever uh-huh. his name is. Oh, Jason Statham? Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> another guy. I yeah, we'll see. They, they did a spinoff. Mm. And actually, Tyrese, remember they had beef. Tyrese is yeah. not friends with The Rock anymore. What about right? the one guy then? Uh, what's his name? Um... 
And Vin Diesel. The, yeah, Vin oh, Diesel. Did? Yeah. yeah, so, and Tyrese got mad because he's like, you guys should keep it fast. This is the Fast Furious family. Mm -hmm. You should keep it, you know, we all should be a part of it. You shouldn't mm -hmm. have to do a spinoff. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if they're trying to do another Fast Furious to please Tyrese or... But how many storylines of Fast and yeah, Furious right. can you How be? Fast yeah. and Furious can you be? Right. I mean, they, for how they long? Were, the last one I think I saw, they were in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And that was, I don't know that, was that, that was before oh. the guy Yeah, that was away. with yeah. Bow Wow. See, so that's Maybe how long it is. Great Wall of China or something. Yeah. They nah. just fly across that, and I don't know. Yeah, you can't really yeah. do I don't think I can yeah. watch any more of them. I've never watched any of them. I'm over it. Played out. I don't think so either. Okay, so how do y'all feel about Chris Brown? Suing this lady for defamation that accused him of raping her. Well deserved. Mm -hmm. He need to. Okay, yeah. I agree, but like, how is he gonna get the like? Who is she? Like, is he gonna get that money? But that's the thing. Like a lot of so women nowadays, mm -hmm. like they're trying to. <clears throat> if it's you know, if the story is true, what he's saying, you know, he right. listened to music. It makes and sense. Boom, boom. You know, he need to yeah, because he a lot some men, you know, women they pride. You know, that, that's so what they want to the do. Story. He was in Paris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this woman said that Chris Brown raped her. Like she, okay. she went up to his hotel room. Nothing happened, but she said she felt intimidated mm -hmm. by his presence. No, it was the like, security guard. There, yeah, there was a, there was. A, she said, she said there was a big man outside that made her feel. Was it what? What word she used? Psychologically, un, or un, she, uncomfortable. Then she shouldn't have went to the room. This exactly. Are coming up with anything. But days. you know what? But when women make those false type of accusations, it makes it harder for us to believe mm -hmm. anything yeah. that anybody exactly. says an, once they get raped, which adds on to the rape culture. Right. So it makes it extremely difficult to to even you know. Let's say that it was valid. You're well, no, no, no. He didn't. He didn't right. do that. He mm -hmm. doesn't have to do it. But when you lie and it makes it, it bad, it, it just makes it bad for everybody. It's already involved, hard for women, which adds on to the R. Kelly situation right. too. So it's just like you know. So who do you believe at right. this point? Mm -hmm. And it was actually one story. I don't know if she changed her story yet, but she actually said like his security guards held her down. I didn't the hear that time. one. See, and that was a TMZ story. You know, sometimes you know, TMZ, TMZ, TMZ yeah, yeah, they, you know, you think they lie? TMZ yeah, lies yeah, they lie. They, they, lie. Lie. <laughs> they, they know they're, they're popular, so they'll say anything they can say to get views and stuff. Because exactly. most people say if TMZ said it, it's I, true. I trust right. the shade room over. If I'm going to listen to any drama, it's the shade room. Okay, because, the shade room because they do. They do their research. And yeah, they don't lie. They make sure it's quality and they make sure it's facts. And they tag the people that they're talking about so that they can so they can clear. Up right. and say, hey, you know what's actually going on here. So yeah. I, I definitely trust the shade yeah. mm -hmm. over TMZ. Anyway. But I, yeah, yeah. I, definitely I think, think he, he should sue her. Then I mean, should. I believe if he, he really didn't do yeah. it. I mean, yeah, he, he had to. He went to jail. Yeah. yeah, along with his security guard. Wasn't he there with his girlfriend anyways already? He no, girl well, he was I don't know. He was saying that, but he was mm -hmm. like, "It's like twenty people in the room." Mm -hmm. I hate people like, when they do. You know, he probably too. Know. You know what? But that, but that came right after he was the youngest to purchase yeah, his yeah, master. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like yeah. it was money motivated. Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's just like, like they you, set him up or something. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just, but with me being a Chris Brown fan, right. like. <laughs> That ticked me off because mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute, I know he didn't do that. Mm -hmm. And you know, but you know, but you know, when you're a diehard fan, it mm -hmm. makes it hard for you to believe that any line. negative yeah, yeah. Yeah, thing anybody it's, has to say. It's almost like, um, I want to say, like, the um, what's his name? Um, Simpson guy, OJ, OJ Simpson. Mm -hmm. You know how it's like he got off on his trial, but everybody spent so many years, he was so targeted on something. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel and too. And because of the whole Rihanna situation, they felt like he got off easy, mm -hmm. so he's targeted now. Definitely, and they're trying to get him. You know, definitely, they're trying to get him. So that's that's my take on it. But, but no, I definitely don't think he he's smart he though. Yeah, he's, he is. he's he's definitely smart, he and um, but he twisted it. And you know, he his clothing line. I can't think of the name black, now. What is it? Black pyramid. Black black pyramid. They have uh, they they have the shirts now. Um, is it? I forgot what phrase that he used, but whatever he, whatever situation that he used for the negative, he used it as a positive and right. added those signature right. T-shirts to his line. Okay, okay. That's a good I know some of you got pretty. He was like, "This bitch lying." That's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> that, that's, 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 that's that is. Yeah, that's, 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 that's,
exactly <laughs> what it says. Exactly. So that right there, you know, so he definitely twisted and, and, and he sold out of the shirts yeah. in, in an hour. Yeah. Oh, dang. So. Yeah. He has a, a huge fan base. He has oh, a yeah. huge yeah. fan base. Yeah. And I'm 42, and I love Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I love Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris Brown, he's, he's definitely it. He is. He's, a, he's very talented, mm-hmm. and yes. they're going to do whatever they need to do to try to take him down. Yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. just like what you said. Just because of that situation. Because, right. exactly. That I honestly think, yeah, it was an unfortunate situation. I do believe he learned from it. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think they both played a, a role yeah, both did, in yeah. the whole situation. That's the right. thing. So I'm the devil's, devil's advocate. No, I, I, no, no. Chris oh. Brown and Rihanna. Like, Chris Brown like, and Rihanna. Like, did we move to R. Kelly? Or oh. no. <laughs> no, Chris Brown Me and Rihanna. Me personally, okay. I, I feel like they both played a role yeah. in it, and they're both responsible for it's that. Oh, yeah. Yes. So exactly. you can't be mad at him without being mad at her. Exactly. You have to, you know, it, it, it's, it's an even playing field. Like, exactly. they, they both have it, so... It's, you know, we love both of them. I support both of them. Me too. I love I both of them. I buy both their records. So it's only two artists that I actually buy. No, but I think that was a two part thing. <laughs> it definitely was a two part Emphasis yeah. on buy. Right, All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's she was still laughing. I know. I heard, I thought I heard something at the door at somebody or something. Okay. So I have a quote for y'all. I just want y'all to tell me what y'all think about this. Okay. So there's a difference between being liked and valued. A lot of people may like you, but not many people value you. I feel that's definitely true, especially time, mm-hmm. because at you know we're all busy, and I just think you know time is money. Yeah. So you know you have to value my time to value me, yeah. and I, I mean, and I'm guilty of it too. I'm always late. Mm-hmm. So, but that's something that I'm definitely trying to get better yeah. at. But you know, if you are like late consistently, it's just disrespectful at mm-hmm. that point, and you don't value me. Or my time. Mm-hmm. Like Lauren Hill, is that the one that was doing that? Oh, oh no, that was ridiculous. Three, three and four hours, four hours late, late to come. Like she just that's didn't care. Like she was a brand new yeah. star. Mm-hmm. That's insane. Yeah. It's not it when it hit her pockets. And it has. Because people won't go to her concerts anymore. Yeah, exactly. Because they don't know if she's going to show up when she's going to show up. Yeah. <laughs> show up four hours why late can't, why can't she just tell herself? Just have the set time for the show, but tell herself a different time so I she can be. Her team, she could though. think she late and still be there on time. Yeah, her team That's her should team. be knocking on her door. Yeah. Like, her team should. They there. should. Right. They should mm-hmm. definitely have. What if she like a thing. prima donna? What if she act crazy or something? What do they call them? Divas. She's divas. divas. What if she? It doesn't divas. matter yeah. though. I mean, you want to. Right. I mean, if you want to still make your money right. and still right. sell records and sell yeah. out these venues, you 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 have to serve the people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have to because you're messing with everybody. pockets. You even messing with the venues' pocket at that point because they want to close down at a certain because at that point people are asking for refunds yeah right. so she won't get booked yeah mm-hmm. true, true. i'd rather be valued, you'd rather be valued? yes mm-hmm. definitely but which in this day and time do you feel that people do you feel that people appreciate i mean how can i say this like with social media and stuff like mm-hmm. that like being liked is kind of higher rated over being valued i think yeah i agree with that i think mm-hmm. that people they want to be liked, and then they forget about being valued, so they don't mm-hmm. even, they never get that. Right. But you know, you can put a spin on that, too. Tell and, um, <laughs> just, tell us. just from my profession and what I do, mm-hmm. um, I feel like with my employees, if I can get them to like me, they'll value me more. Meaning, I have to show them, uh, I have to, I don't want to say be vulnerable, but I have to let them see me. And then that's the key right there because they, a lot of times you don't even really know who you're liking, who you're liking. because you don't really know that exactly. person to like so I think the value comes before the like before the like yeah. you're right so I have to let them see me and then once they like me there's not one I oversee about 60 people but there's yeah. not one person that I can't walk to and say hey do this do this and they gonna jump to it because they like me they value me and they like me exactly. so you got both yeah, okay. I mean, am I? Am, I'm just. I just yeah, put no. that on a personal I'm level. You. Yeah, but, <laughs> you, but you have to to be yeah. successful. Yeah, yeah, that's to. true. You ladies, cool. I, I didn't say my part. That's what she I said you. Um, um, she went after Latricia. I don't know. <laughs> no, I want people to value me first. Because if they don't like me, I'm. I really don't care to be honest. With right. You. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I can't get past that either. If you don't like me, then I don't give that, two. And, and that's key. That's and the I thing. You that just, comes with age, that too. That comes with mm-hmm. age. But it comes Because right now, I do not yeah. care. If you yeah. have, in order that's to be successful, energy. you too have much. to not care about likes. Oh, okay. You care Definitely. more about value than likes. Yep. As, when you come to a certain thing, it's like, I don't care if you like me, but then the you're going to value me. And you're going to respect me. And you're going to respect me. And that's all I ask. Or, you know, it ain't, no, we can't have nothing. Exactly. I feel how you feel basically they go hand in hand like you can't you're not gonna value somebody you don't like right. so I feel like they do you have to like the person first mm-hmm. in order to get the value from right. them so. right. hmm. y'all said it better than, than I could okay you got a few more years don't worry about it right. no I already know she's young but she still wanna be valued right. more than like she does we about to go value. smack on this good cooking Oh yeah, we got a short shot. Huh? <laughs> yeah. We don't want it getting cold. Yeah, I hope it's not cold. Oh well, yeah, yeah. if it's not, it ain't gonna matter. It don't matter. We got to eat. Yeah, peace out. Rolled the wristwatch. Huh? Y'all think this is a game? But I'm spitting facts. My middle name Bougie, so you know it's rap. Bougie gang, Bougie gang, Bougie gang, Bougie gang, Bougie gang, Bougie gang, Bougie gang. Got two necklaces from Tiffany's. My ice ten times, you know it's rap. You better back up before you get got. I'ma knock you with my rose gold wristwatch. Y'all think this is a game, but I'm spitting facts. My middle name Bougie, so you know it's rap. Yeah, double C's on my eyes, so I'm seeing clear. Just left the dealership, I'm a swerving stair. On the loop, 202, and I'm heading near you. What? Okay, I might just pull up in the Accord, but don't worry, got the X3 keys in the door. What more can y'all even ask for? Fan first, pie sun, sitting pretty, we on, uh. Yeah, we about to be Liddy on the moon, and we got new work coming real soon. What? And as for you, you should have been on, cause we about to take over the whole damn zone. Huh? We doing this as a team, so we all about to be flashy, what, bling, bling? Huh. Right, get it, but back to me. 800 on some bundles, that's nothing. A stack on some shoes. That's nothing. I know what? it's something to you. So why are y'all fronting? Got three jobs, so you know your girl be hustling. I really just like nice stuff, so I'm not fronting for nobody. Huh. Like y'all weak ass. And we are back for the second half of sitting pretty and keeping it real. So we just, Nick the Chef just made us an Ooh. elaborate spread. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiled, yeah. spoiled. I don't she see anything us. left over there. It, it, you know what? It's there isn't. It. It's all gone. It's just a whole bunch I of rest. I think I see a pecan. <laughs> some dust. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just some dust over here. Yeah. Empty plate. Yeah. yeah. She did us right. Thank yes. you yes. so much. You are welcome. Yes. It was my pleasure. Oh my Thank God. you. And that popcorn Thank was good too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cleaned your nostrils out. Yeah, it really did. That's my that's my homemade jerk seasoning. Eat one more. Right. Eat another. It's gonna go up your nose in it. It's spicy. It's spicy. But you're gonna keep me in it. Yeah, that's <laughs> addictive. Like, that's, that's, yeah. that's my sinus medicine. Give me the rest it of my popcorn. Okay. So I can go to sleep uh-huh. tonight. It's spicy. Girl, Let me out. You gotta leave a little of that seasoning at the, <laughs> at the hotel for it. I will. I'm gonna have to send you guys some. Gift boxes. Then you're gonna be our new best friend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then we, I'm gonna be in the kitchen cooking right. and over my show. New best friend. <laughs> new best friend. Right. I love okay. that picture. So as we said earlier, this half is all about you. Oh. So Look, we're just cool. all gonna kind of feed in and ask you questions. Okay. So just a general question to get you started. Like, okay. can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, how you got started with cooking, and your whole journey for that. And then we'll just feed in and ask questions. Okay. Or you can just start with where you're from. Okay. I hate talking about myself. It's so, it's, oh, so I don't know. It's so, it's so awkward. Um, I'm originally from Brooklyn. Okay. I've been in Arizona since um, 1995. Oh. I came here to go to ASU and never left. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh good. Yeah. My alma mater. I love ASU. Mm-hmm. Um, so I actually graduated with a degree in criminal justice. Oh, okay. Then later on went and got my later went on and got my MBA. Mm-hmm. And um, but like how I started with the whole culinary journey is mm-hmm. I was a junior in high school and I graduated early, so I got selected to attend this secondary school where you got college credits okay. and so um I went I went there and I and I attended and they were having this contest and the contest was they were going to pick one person from every state to go over to Italy mm-hmm. and I lived in Michigan at the time because that's where I went to high school because my father had got a job in my senior year mm-hmm. so um I went to Italy and I stayed there for 18 months and so I'm so that's why I love Italian food Mm -hmm. I 
completely love the culture. And so that's where my love for, you know, the olive oils and the vinegars, hence my Chic Chef Co. line mm -hmm. of um, oils and vinegars. So, and I did that and I was really good, y'all. Like, I was really good. Mm -hmm. And my father is Dominican and my mother is Jamaican. Oh, wow. And no, with that whole Indian. mix, mm -hmm. they, they were like, no, you're not cooking in anybody's kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but I'm good and I really love it. They're like, no. So then I went to college. I got my degrees and I just wasn't like, of course, like, you know, you make six, you know, you, you, you know, you make the six figures and you're happy. So I... Did that for 20 years. I'm telling my age. I did that for 20 years. And my daughter is 24 years old. And my husband recently just became a doctor. Oh, so yeah. he said, you know, babe, it's your time. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to do what's going to make you happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm living my best life right oh, now. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 We tasted it just yeah. now. Yeah. I am literally Definitely having a ball. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, I'm literally having a ball. And I like... And I love food because food is like that gateway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's what brings people together. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and it's, 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 it's just fun. And, like, I can't think of anything that I would want to do without having food there. So food yeah. is involved in every yeah. aspect Definitely. of life. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'm trying to make my mark. And I'm like, okay, I raised my child. Mm -hmm. You know, I put her through school and I did all that stuff. Now it's all about me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's just that. like... You know, I, I feel like that I'm in my second stage of life. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, at 42 and just starting off that to, to have a brand new career, mm -hmm. it's not like how it was like when you initially graduated from college. Mm -hmm. It's just like you're like so much smarter and you mm -hmm. know what you want to do mm -hmm. and you're more driven and mm -hmm. you're going to do it mm -hmm. because we have that age on our side. Mm -hmm. So we know what not to do. And mm -hmm. I'm just really just enjoying myself and I'm just not looking back. And it's just like, you know, you know, sometimes I do miss the six figures, but you know, but I'm, happier. I am yeah. so much more happier because I do what I want to do. And that's like, you know, like to me, food is just love in, in a tangible form. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, so I'm just having a ball, just, just doing that. Mm -hmm. that's, awesome. that's awesome. So that's how you birth your events. That is, that. that's it. Yep. So it's just like, it's just like, I want to like, I, I just like, I, I, I think that people lost having fun mm -hmm. at dinner mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like yeah. dinner is supposed to be fun and i remember dinner in our house is we sat at the table mm -hmm. we talked we discussed issues if we had a problem mm -hmm. and i think that i bring that into every event because mm -hmm. it's just like a way for us to to you know to you know to you know to to build and to break down barriers and mm -hmm. any bonds that we have we mm -hmm. break those down as well i mean we 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 Hello? We extend the bonds that we have because it's just like, okay. And it's just like, you know, food is just a way to bond. Like you bond over the dinner table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's just like, I just want to keep that going at every event. And every event is always different, mm -hmm. you know. I um, that too. Yeah, you know, there's, there's always a different, you know, theme. There's always a different, a different set of, you know, hosts. But, you know, you... You actually leave there wanting more. You leave there like, oh, wow, this is fun. Like, I haven't experienced anything mm -hmm. like this before, mm -hmm. and that's what I love. Mm -hmm. So, how, how do you come up with the themes? Because I noticed, like, for Texas, you do one theme. Mm -hmm. For L.A., you do one theme. For Miami, you do another theme. Like, how do you come up with a theme and also with your guests at the same time? I'm just a creative person. Like, I, I, I'm I'm just a creative. That just comes with a lot of sleepless nights. Like, I will literally, I have a notepad and water by my bed. And I literally wake up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. Because I, I had a dream. I'm like, oh, this is what I want to do. So that's literally how I come up with it. Or, like, I may have, a, I may have like, a, may have a, a celebrity reach out to me and say, hey, we want to host, mm -hmm. you know, an, an event. What can you curate around me? Okay. So each, I mean, and there's like five more that I have that I just haven't listed them yet because mm -hmm. it's just like, it takes a lot of time and energy because I have to think about what I want the flyer, flyer to look like, mm -hmm. what I want the venue to look like. You know what I mean? So it just, it takes so much energy and so much brain power. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just, I, I just... I, I try to create things that I want to be a part of myself. Gotcha. And I try to think of things that p 
people haven't done before, mm-hmm. and it just starts from there and it just takes off. Gotcha. Awesome. Gotcha. Awesome. I um, because when um Queen B was telling me about you. Shortly after that, you had an event here, and I was like, I never even heard about this event. And it was like last year was like a brunch, and you had um, Golden Brooks. Yes. Yeah, the, the, oh, yeah. so remember the I girlfriends told you, blow I was up like, brunch. We never even heard about this event. Da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, okay. I just I don't know. I can't wait to come to one. I can't um, wait to you can attend one. as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's I mean the the that girlfriends brunch was definitely one of the so what happened was is that like like originally. I started off just in Phoenix and then I got sponsored by VH1 and that's when I started to travel and I used a lot of like the VH1 um, host to actually host um, host the event and so this is year two right now and Mm -hmm. this will so I didn't do any events this month because I'm recovering from my jaw surgery so February starts even, and there's an event every single month. Month after that. Mm-hmm. Well, there's two I in can't February. Wait to, to talk yeah, to yeah. Be a one of I just want to piggyback on something you said when you were just saying, like, you know, your food brings conversation. Definitely. And you know, while we were eating, we actually had to pause some of the conversation that we actually wanted. Isn't to that start. hard? It's yeah. so uh, it's because, like yeah. so hard. Right. Not it was so hard. It was like talk and get to know each other, <laughs> right, and you right. know. So it's just like, and and that's one of the things that I actually love is like having that open conversation and right, being able right. to have like that dialogue and it's right. like and it's like that you're so engaged that you don't care about your phone, your phone yeah. you don't care about nothing. anything mm-hmm. and I just think that yeah. you know that those are the things that I miss mm-hmm. from growing up is like putting the phone down mm-hmm. turning off the TV and right. just engaging with the people that's Around. all at your table and I purposely um so people always ask you know Nick can can we sit together? Nope. I want you to meet new people. Mm-hmm. You don't have to sit with the people mm-hmm. that you know. That you know right? Make 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 some new networking opportunities. Mm-hmm. Create a new circle. And, and that's what we need to do it. Because we're so used to just being around one another. Yes. I think like when we go to events, we need to be separate. Because like you remember do. when we went to an event, we sat together. I think we need to get into a I form where separate. we can, yeah, and kind of separate. And I purposely out. do that. And, and like people used to get upset. Like, well, no. Of course, if you buy, you know, like four tickets together, I'm going to sit sit you together. Right. Or if you buy two tickets. But if you buy one ticket, one ticket. No, I'm going to purposely split you up so right. you can Get talk to, yeah. to other people and, like, you know, network. So, and that's one thing that I do love, like, about these events is that you meet so many new people mm-hmm. and you build a whole new networking circle and literally everything that you need is right there. So with the it's Golden like the Brooks events, just kind of right. Everything. With the Golden Brooks events, like like I loved it. I mean, we had people that published books. We had um, um, lawyers. We had doctors. Like everything that you needed was in that one room. Mm-hmm. And I made it a point to where okay, we're we're gonna have a networking hour. Just get up and just talk to people and just gotcha. talk to people that you don't know. Meet people. You know, expand your black book. Yeah. That's true. So you definitely have to do that, especially, you know, as, you know, women, we need to do that. We need to expand to different women and to different, you know, in different areas of, you know, work or if they are like, you know, if they own their own businesses, you want to be support able to, to right to like support and then network with everybody. Yeah. So given that you kind of started cooking on this platform, like, not too long ago, correct? It's been like, two years. Okay, so how were you able to like elevate yourself in such a like? So how fast. were you able to market yourself? How were you able to brand yourself? You know like what? That? I'm such a go getter, and no is not an option. Like it's just not. Like I mean, and then of course, like age definitely plays a factor because you're smarter now. You mm-hmm. you know what you want to do before you even do it. Like I like I have my year planned out, and it's just January right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I was. I mean, and I had a really great team and it's just like I'm I have a vision of what I want to do and I'm not going to stop until I get there okay. that's, awesome. That's, awesome. that's awesome well I want to give you a about five meetings mm-hmm. 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 and um so that caused my me to be around my supervisor a lot like the whole day typically I never see my supervisor mm-hmm. but today I was around her the whole day and, you know, we're asking about plans, and I kind of told her, I typically don't talk about, like, my personal life, but I kind of told her what was going on, and she's like, oh, that's awesome. 
So I showed her your Instagram, and immediately she was like, oh my God, can you tell her that her makeup is like... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, she looks like a dog. Like, yeah. Shout yeah, out to Beauty to... by Ty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. I, I definitely want to give you the, pass that compliment. Thank on. you so oh, much. Yeah, yeah. My, my whole glam team, like, it's just like... It's so funny because it was like I either look like a bum, like literally homeless, or there's no gray area. There's definitely no gray area. Like I don't own any makeup at home. Like right. it was like so. It's like if I don't have my makeup artist or my glam team to glam me up, it's right. like you just gonna get what you get. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and and so <laughs> right. So just like recently, my husband is like, okay, like. What if I want to go to dinner or like what if I want to do something? You can't go looking like this. And yeah, I'm like, but why not? Because you want to for everybody else. He wants you to glam yeah. up for him. Exactly. So, but I'm like, but you know, like it may be a time where Ty, won't, you know, to where she's busy, she can't do it. He's like, well, you're going to have to figure something out. <laughs> so here I am on YouTube trying to figure out how to do my stuff. So this is what it YouTube is, came up to. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Okay. So Shout now, out to you too. Exactly. Not so only like, can she cook. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. So like now, so I was so I, I was I was like, oh okay, I look kind of cute yeah. today. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna make up now. So I was like, say go babe. Yeah. So it's like you just be, but I, I I'm just so codependent and just you know like when you're in you know, like the spotlight, so to speak, is like you feel the need to always want to be perfect, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but like not me. I literally don't care. It's right. like this, this is me. Girl, you get t-shirts. Yeah. This well, is like, we can dress up when we need to. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm just like, but, but, but I think like once you reach like a certain age and I keep on bringing up age, but to me, it's true. It's like once you reach a certain age, you don't care what anybody says, what they think. It's almost like you're untouchable. It's like you're so... Like, mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, it just really does not matter. And I'm so glad that I reached that plateau to where it's just like, it does not matter what you say mm-hmm. about me, mm-hmm. if you like me or not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, if not, that's still fine too. So, I mean, but that, <laughs> but I think that really just came with age. Mm-hmm. And experience because I used to care like like I used to cry when people didn't oh. you know when you know when people didn't like me because you wanted everyone to oh, like yeah. you now right. it's just like you're lost right yeah exactly. <laughs> <You're not fabulous. laughs> yeah. exactly so I'm 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 so glad that I reached that level yeah. so cool. what would you say to the young you to the twenty year old you oh, right man. now you just yeah, if I just way. knew then what I knew now right. was just but that's why I pour so much into my daughter. She'll be 24. I pour so much into her because I'm like, you can be what I like. You can be a little mini me that I am at 40, like at right now, 24. 24 yeah. And it's like that you give them the blueprint, but they don't listen. Right. She's, don't. you know, she's just not like mentally ready to, to for me to throw everything on mm-hmm. her that I know. But if I could just tell me the young me now is just live with like with no apologies just Mm -hmm. do what you want to do period and Mm -hmm. if i would have did what i wanted to do then i would be so much farther now Mm -hmm. but that wasn't the role that you may not appreciate it as much exactly so now it's like i appreciate every single thing that i do and it's my journey and it's like if i would have you know had i went a different route i'm pretty sure the things would have been different, so I'm glad that it went this way because mm-hmm. now it's like I'm living life on my own terms. Mm-hmm. I like to ask that question because specifically, if you didn't go the route that you know you went back, you know you are now. It's kind of like, what would I have done? Exactly. Then? You know, so you question exactly. that. So I like to see different, you know, perspectives on yeah, that. Yeah, I'm like, would I still have the same passion? Right. Would I? I mean, would I? Would, would I still be doing the same? Like, right. what would I? Would I have wanted to do mm-hmm. what I'm doing now? Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm just really thankful that I had the opportunity to to go the long way, mm-hmm. um, because now I'm ex- I'm extremely happy mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I'm loving the journey and I probably wouldn't have been able to experience what I've experienced and mm-hmm. you know gain the you know knowledge and, mm-hmm. and that really know the direction that I want to go because mm-hmm. that's extremely difficult when you're trying to build a brand when you're trying to mm-hmm. build a business and I think we have to go through that we you do you do, you do. and yeah. everybody loves a backstory you know what I mean yeah. like they want to yeah. know 
why you why? went that right. route and why you are the way that you are now and you wouldn't be able to give them that if you didn't Because if it's handed to you, it's not yeah. exciting. Like, yeah. oh, yeah. it's, up it's, it's like, yeah. Yeah. I But then they to told me to this. take care of this like, business and I got this exactly. business. Exactly. But then sometimes them back routes can make you miss opportunities like meeting your husband possibly. Because what if you was exactly. off in Italy being, with your, you know, cooking and doing all that so stuff, you, you may have missed that opportunity. No, I've known my husband since I was like, 17 years oh, old. Oh, okay. so wow. I've, Yeah, so I've known him for a long time. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, so you guys are like, time. Lo- like, yes. That's that's, okay. He's literally like my best friend, and we're joined at the hip. So for him not to be here, I'm thinking he's going to walk, you know, thinking mm-hmm. he's going to walk through the door. So, uh, but he's so extremely oh, supportive. Oh, you did say he was not feeling well. Yeah, he's not oh, feeling well, okay. and then he's watching the, he's watching the grandkids, but... Um, but yeah, but he's at every single event. Like mm-hmm. he knows my business better than I know my business. That's awesome. That's, that's how that's how supportive that mm-hmm. he is. So this is the first thing that he's missed. Aww. He didn't want to sit pretty tonight. Yeah, yeah. he didn't want to sit pretty tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he probably <laughs> actually he probably he actually probably faked the sniffles. Right. Like, yeah. this, this is pretty podcast. Right. I don't think they got a martini. Yeah, they got a martini. It's so cute. So how many yeah. selfies did you send him so far? I don't have a sent any. I've been so busy. You should have told me to sit. You are strong, busy. Podcast. I know, right? Exactly. But sitting exactly. real masculine, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So I want to turn the table a little bit. So mm-hmm. you're a celebrity chef. You work with VH1. You know, is there anybody that you had a bad experience with that you just won't work with? Like no matter how much they paid you, you just oh. won't. Work don't, with you don't have to give a name though, right? Yeah. 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 yeah well, yeah. yeah. To say yeah. more of just, experience. Yes. Is there? Yeah. Tell us about I the just, time. Don't do divas. Mm-hmm. Like I had Thank one you. person tell me that they can't smile anymore and, and they don't want to take pictures with what? people. Yeah. And the thing is, is that if people are coming to see you, you that's can. a humbling experience. Yeah. You need to stay there until your face freezes. Exactly. Yeah. And she literally left like two hours early because she said her face hurts and it's too many people. I'm so and it was, they don't realize they get them on the back end though. Yeah, yeah. they don't. It, it, but it's just. You know, to me, it's like if people are coming to see you, these people mm-hmm. built you, and probably. and and they're purchasing a ticket mm-hmm. to come and see you. It's your obligation to make sure that they have the best experience yes. possible. Right? I would want that. so for her to do that. It was just kind of like heartbreaking because I had to like make up an excuse as to why she left. Okay. And the thing is, is that she was tired of smiling. Was the excuse. Wow. Oh, that's and horrible. that's that's a horrible. That's horrible. Because she's just that's as human as these people. Yeah. That and you see. Mom would be too. Like, and you do personal. You um, do personal cooking. Like, um, go to people's home and things like that and cook for them as well. Um, I do sometimes, but the majority of the time, I'm I'm booked with the events or mm-hmm. like you know I have a lot of you know um, football players and basketball players that that, that live here that I'm their personal chef mm-hmm. so I really don't have the time to do so but that's something that I would really love to do like mm-hmm. or maybe like a group cooking class okay. or mm-hmm. you know something like that I've tried to do them but then it's like I'll schedule a date to do them and then something else comes up and I can't gotcha. you know make it so it's like this year I'm going to make it a point to hunker down a date, do it, and because that's something that people have been asking for that I haven't that be given an opportunity yeah. to do it. And who's the favorite, one of your favorite um, people, even they could be famous or just average Joes that you've worked with that you really enjoy? I like everybody that I work okay. with, except for that one person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that one person, okay. but everybody that I've ever worked with, they've been a joy to work with, and they're, you know, they're, they're fun and they're just regular people of course i like the people that love my food more yeah you know what i mean so it's just um but i think because like i cook different like Mm -hmm. you know most people expect me to do like soul food Mm -hmm. but i didn't grow up eating soul food like you know that's kind of played out yeah it is like i didn't do like the collard greens and that but as a chef you would want to try something different. yeah you want to expand your you didn't say mama's kitchen mama's kitchen cook greens (laughs) Exactly, exactly. And this is like that. I want to make things that people would normally eat mm-hmm. or, you know, or, or give you something you wouldn't be able to, to make yourself. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So I think that that's, that's one thing that I literally pride myself on. But mm-hmm. like, I love all my clients. I love every single mm-hmm. celebrity that I've ever, awesome. um, 
uh, work with. Of course, some are more fun than than others, like Tisha like Campbell. We're the, no, we're the most fun. <laughs> yes, you guys are definitely so much fun. This is this is, this is, this is just like a girls' night out. Yeah. So this, no, is, it this, is, is, this, this this is really fun. But I would probably say Tisha, Tisha Campbell, Campbell and like Tachina her. Arnold. I know oh yeah, are. really oh, gosh, they're down so, to earth. They're so down to earth. They're so fun. Like mm-hmm. like. Fun. And they're really friends, actually. Right. Oh, right. They're, yeah. they're, they're actually best friends. That's yeah. what I heard. Yes. Yeah. I think so, childhood friends. I think. Exactly. Like, they grew up in Brooklyn together. So. Oh, okay. But, so, but, yeah, so they are a very fun crowd to be That's around. Awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. so they're they're fun. So when you're in their presence, you're going to have fun. And they're you legends, have awesome too. Job. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I need to know how to cook exactly. so I can take yeah. your job. <laughs> it is fun time, but literally, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's it's just fun. So that's mm-hmm. like that's literally the best way that I can explain it. Like work doesn't feel like work, work because it's up, just yeah. fun. So it's just like, you know, I can take my time and mm-hmm. I can be patient. Mm-hmm. You get to make things look, you know, pretty mm-hmm. and then just to see people eat. I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's literally it's a loving experience. Mm-hmm. So I just I just I just love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I can tell you do too. We, yeah, you know, after we is, offer yeah. an assistance to pour popcorn in a cup, you're like, wait. Uh, I know you're you right. Right. Like, like I felt, I felt it I like you had to accept help, but you really like. Uh, that's so true. <laughs> See, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. I am a Leo, and I am see. So I am a control freak. So it's like I have to pull back the reins, and it's nothing personal. But it's just like, and then too, it's just like you just learn how to be independent when you are trying to build your brand, and when you're trying to, you know, become like this. You know, my my ultimate goal is to have my own show on the Food Network. Okay. There you go. Now watch the Food Network too, girl. I know. I'm trying. Yes. I'm definitely calling. I will be watching you on Thank there. you yeah. so much. Because yeah. you will get there. I, yeah. I'm yeah. telling, telling you. you. I'm telling you. So it's just like, you know, you just learn because before it was just like I depended on people and they let you down. Yeah, right. And at the end of the day, no matter what they do, you still have to show sure. up and you still yeah. have to show, show out. out. Yeah. Yes. So, and then it's just like, but then you can't can't say well so and so people don't care about that right. Right. they could care less about that exactly exactly so i actually <laughs> learned the hard way like nick this is all this is all you You're so right. if something happens it doesn't it. matter if somebody else was in a hundred percent fault it, mm-hmm. but it's it's all going to fall right. back on me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, I'm so territorial about every, every single little <laughs> thing, but I know I have to like inch that little, right. you know, <laughs> power out because, it, but, but, but I'm not used to people asking if I need help yeah. either. So, mm-hmm. yeah. so, so the fact that you guys were so, you know, welcoming and like, what can I do? Mm-hmm. That was new. I'm like, wait a minute. They want to help. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So that yeah. was, the popcorn okay. exactly. Yeah. It was extremely, you know, different, but I loved it. Yeah. So you definitely I appreciate have to come that. Back and let us do a spread for you. I cannot uh, wait. Girl, we we no, <laughs> no. Listen, yeah. I didn't go into detail. I said <laughs> a spread. So we can talk about that on the back end. <laughs> but you know what? But people I'm always, saying. we're a little nervous about cooking right. for you. No, People I always think that cook. they cannot cook for me, and I have not had anybody cook for me except for my husband. I'm like, oh. but I'll I will eat it. Like I we mean, usually cook for people. Wait, 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 I don't know where. For you. Okay, when we're please do. Back. No, we're when Felicia said you want to cook, we just said okay. <laughs> like, thank you. Yeah, like right. I wouldn't have had it any any other way. I'm in your house, so I want to, you know. Cater to you and give you that whole. That was very that nice. Was very 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 thank you for that. that no, was it was blessing. literally my pleasure. It was yes. literally my pleasure. It was tasty. It, 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 thank you. Real tasty I'm on still all looking levels. Looking for something else. Like we have martinis <laughs> not made by us. This yeah, like, this yeah. is yeah. first. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. and it was really good too. Thank you. I love herbs and I love Success Vodka. I'm their brand ambassador, and okay. literally. I'm not a drinker, but I love vodka. You mm-hmm. can taste the difference. Like mm-hmm. it just tastes. Crisp, it's mm-hmm. you know, it tastes fresh, it's mm-hmm. all natural. How did you look up like with it. success, Baca? Well, actually, I'm trying to. F- so, I've been their brand ambassador now for about a little bit less than a year. Mm-hmm. I had a friend, well, I was looking for a liquor sponsor for it's some in the refrigerator, one of my um, for one of my events, mm-hmm. and um, they wanted to be my liquor sponsor, and so they have so they had a really good experience from the event and they said okay we want to you know sponsor all of all of your events forever oh and 
Right, and wow. so they want, and so, so what do you have to do on the other end? Just display. Just, well, so I, I, so for every event, I come up with a signature drink list, and it has about four or five signature drinks. Like I love mixing flavors together. Like, um, so for every event that I do, if it's my own event or if it's an event for at like if somebody's having like a birthday party, like a, you know, like like a like a celebrity birthday party, mm-hmm. baby shower or something like that. They'll ask if I'm going to bring the vodka, and then from there I'll create like a signature drink list. Like one of my favorite um, martinis is a mango jalapeno. Oh, and it's I'm so sure. good. Really? Yeah, it's so good. So that's like my favorite martini. So just create like signature um, drink list. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, I'll do tastings. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's just but you just have just to just like display their stuff and say drink like exactly. so now we have to make sure we say that the martini yeah, we use the, the yeah. okay cool yeah. I like that and so um so I'll do like you know tastings at like different um different you know uh like events I'll mm-hmm. also um at every at every taste of chic event there's a there's a signature drink list but there's also a bartender and he does you know little tricks you know it's just mm-hmm. it's, 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 it's like a really mm-hmm. fun experience like mm-hmm. the drinks are served on dry ice and may mm-hmm. have like sparklers in it or something like that you know mm-hmm. just just like something cute because mm-hmm. i love i love the experience of any event like mm-hmm. one thing i don't want you to do is just to come eat and leave it's like yeah. i want to show you something that you've never seen and then you'll yeah. remember so it stay too. for the whole experience yeah. exactly yeah. like i mean like there was uh one event we had a live thank you we we actually had a live girl she was naked and she was covered in sushi oh, and oh. so that's like a most people have never Conversation seen that before started, yeah. exactly so it was just you know it was just something cute and it was mm-hmm. sexy and it was like it was it was an unexpected something mm-hmm. yeah. so it's like I always like to have that shock factor or something unexpected like you wouldn't think like oh my god there's like a new or, or <laughs> like, yeah. 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 but that's cool that you get to be creative I love being creative with that yeah. in mind mm-hmm. Um, what make you guys do? Because like the Miami thing, mm-hmm. I, I noticed that all your things say a secret location. Mm-hmm. That's I say what it's, a a it's a shot. It's like a shot. You were taking a high. Oh yeah, we did go fries today. And you have a bar. Which one? The fries by my house. Oh, is the one right up here? Right here. Oh, does it? I love yeah. going to fries. They had a does, bar. Does this one have the cheese bar too? They had everything. They yeah. had a bar. The they had a wine area. Bar. They had a beer area. I love area. my local fries. They have. The one I will sit Fitt there. And Camelback. That's the one that I go it's to. The same. Is that where you live? I live out there. I okay. did live out there, but okay. I've never been to that one. My mother and my ex mother in law told me about it. That's my favorite fries. I like when I mm-hmm. my, my husband hates when I go to fries so? because mm-hmm. I'm in fries for hours. I heard. I just heard about it. A that's couple why they. Weeks. That's why they, they had have a bar cheese. in there. They do like they have cheese. Man. They have and the sushi. People sitting at the bar. Drinking. I sit at the bar. <laughs> you should I sit at the bar. Have a couple. Hours. No, I'm serious. I sit there it's just because. First of all, supermarket shopping is so stressful. It is. It is. Yeah. It's, I hate it. So do you go get your drink before or after? I go before. <laughs> I go before. And I have to eat before I shop. Because you can't not, go there hungry. I throw everything in the basket. So you get something to eat and then you get a drink and then you yes, shop. Yes, exactly. That's a good experience. Because then you're calm. Because <laughs> I am calm. Because like literally, like going the, the, the post office and the supermarket are just two things that just make me like yeah. nervous. Yeah. yeah, and 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 I don't like a lot of people. <laughs> so and you can only go during certain times to have the bar open. Mm-hmm. So it's like I have to go during prime hours. Yeah, <laughs> I have to go to the bar. Yeah, you have Until to. Until I get my drink. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like. So I like the chicken. So I would go get me some chicken wings, I probably, do like the chicken. and then maybe a little potato salad, and then I'm gonna go to the bar. And then I'll probably get some wine. Here. I'll get some wine. Well, so what you going to buy at the grocery store when you're grocery shopping? <laughs> see, but let me tell you, see, but I love wine and cheese. Mm-hmm. Wine and cheese oh, is like okay. one of the favorite, like that's like, to me, that's like the highlight of my Friday. So I go mm-hmm. to the supermarket on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Did you so, start back up already or no? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry. So, we're just talking. Okay, I'm going to tell all the business. Mm-hmm. But no, can you, okay, um, so we'll do a test. Let's um, give us the, the name and, okay, and of the, the, the vodka one it's more time. Success Vodka. And we are taking and we're gonna a shot. shot straight so Woo! we can acknowledge how so great it is. Thank you so much yes. for success. 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 Oh, yeah, to Chris. success. Mm. Hey, yeah! Mm. Mm. Yes. Isn't it clean and crisp? Mm. Right? I do like it. Mm. 
like them. Yeah. It's clean. No, it's no, crisp. It doesn't it's give good. you a funky aftertaste. Mm. I don't even it's need weird. no lemon. You don't. Like, it's, it's like, it's, 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 it's clean. It's huh? really smooth. It wasn't so yeah. hard shut out. So that's right there with Tito's. Yeah. See? It's right up there with Tito's. Yeah. And that boss water. It is. And the boss water. I love it. We might have to start using that for our jeans. That's yeah, yeah, that's good. good. That's yeah. they do. Awesome. They do. We Where can we purchase this at? Right. See, so so the thing is, is that they are not. So we're working on licensing in the state of Arizona. Oh, okay. So they so we don't have it yet, but eventually by March it'll be in Bevmo. So like right okay. now you have to go through a distributor, which is me, and then we can always ship it out. Okay. But like right now they're so Success Vodka is in Oklahoma City. So, oh, okay. so that's where they state are. state is different. Yes. So, but they're in Texas, um, Georgia, and some other. Um, I, I'll actually have a. Map but if you like, you if you like, we can start using our martini, doing that. Our martini. That would that be awesome. You your shout out. That would be as amazing. The brand and definitely, success. definitely. Yes. 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 <laughs> she she said, and I actually had head. some little miniature. I had gift bags made up for you guys, but oh, because I was, you are amazing. I hate being late. Like That's being okay. late is just like I knew I was fifteen minutes. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I knew that I left them, but I was like ten minutes, no, like away from home, and I didn't want to like yeah. leave you blessed waiting. us with the food. So, yeah. but yeah. I do have little gift bags for you guys. Thank though. You. So we well, have a little yeah, miniature yeah. success vodkas, and I got, I gave you guys some olive oil, oh. some seasoning mixes. Oh, yes. So there's a lot of stuff in there that you guys will have fun with. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. we get it's like Christmas. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I said, Christmas in January. But definitely, I'm though, we should um, definitely start doing our martinis. It's a clean. Yeah. It's nice awesome. and clean. I like it. Yeah. And that and way. Then try some new fla- and try some new martini. Like I'll give you guys some martini recipes that, okay. I, that I've done before because martinis are my favorite drinks. Oh, so okay. that's so, what we can okay. do. Is Shout do our, maybe you can be the person that we do. Like when we do our martinis, like we go and we make it up. Oh, mm-hmm. we actually we we're name them, right. Uh-huh. Name them. So we can just say martinis brought to you by, and then you give us that's the recipe, the and then yeah. you get all that credit. Yeah. Like oh, I will definitely do that for cool. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. That's or, amazing. or or I can always hand deliver your vodka on Fridays. Oh, yeah. Um, if I'm in town. <laughs> so that, that's, 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 no, no, that's gonna be a good thing though because it, yeah, I like that. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Thank but you. that mango jalapeno that has to be your do you guys like mango? Yeah, we're yeah. Florida. And we're from Florida. Florida. Oh see, okay. Yeah. 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 So ma- mango jalapeno just something about that combination. It's mm. just like it's it's a perfect combination. So that was that's that's my favorite martini. Okay. Okay. And I love ginger beer. Oh, I so oh um so I I do this this ginger lavender martini. Oh, it's oh. so good. But mm-hmm. but I love it. But I love lavender. Like mm-hmm. I, I love cooking with fresh mm-hmm. ingredients. So mm-hmm. like you can taste like the freshness. And I love the martini, mm-hmm. the lavender martini, because you could just taste. It was just so like so light and clean. It was just it light, really good, exactly. Yes. And you couldn't taste the alcohol, even though mm-hmm. there was a lot in there. You mm-hmm. can't taste it, and that's yeah. my thing. Is yeah. I love martinis because I don't like. I don't, like the taste of alcohol. I don't like the taste of and alcohol that's either. Yeah. I had to learn how to do with our martinis because I really didn't know how to make martinis. So mm-hmm. to make it taste like it doesn't taste like alcohol. Right. Exactly. So you just drink it. And alcohol. the trick is a simple syrup. Yeah, I, she I, makes simple syrup. Yeah. So, so, that, so that's something. definitely a trick. So you can, so you know you can make your simple syrup with anything. You can make lemon. You See, can I make lavender. Oh. Yeah, so just, so, so just. So, are you just doing sugar and water? Yeah, that's because I'm okay. telling you, this is all new to me because we had someone else that was a part of our podcast that did the martinis. And mm-hmm. then it was like, okay, now I got to do them. And it's I like, super simple, literally. So, like this, what I did, that that's a lavender simple syrup. So, okay. it's just lavender, sugar, and then water. So, okay. if you want to do apple simple syrup, if you want to do mango simple mm-hmm. syrup, like it's literally the same concept. You just boil or let's say that you want to do a lemon system, mm-hmm. so you just boil the lemon and the water together, okay. Okay. and it infuses the flavor of mm-hmm. the simple syrup. Mm-hmm. I can get, like I said, we, you can have all the shout outs. I can definitely right. do that for you guys. I'll do more than that. I'm gonna be like Nikki. What we got tonight? I got you. 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 All the, I got the props you. on that. That is yeah. completely amazing. fine. Amazing. Yeah, I love. I, and it's so cute oh. because your because your logo is so yeah. cute with that martini glass here. Thank you. That's so cute. And then then having the because I because I stalked y'all. I saw all. Different. Mm-hmm. I, was like, I was like, oh, that's so cute. They do a different martini every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stalking us. Yeah. No, it's super cute. It's super cute. Thank, Thank you. you. 
All right. Well, so. you help add to the cute. Right. Yeah. 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 You took to another level tonight. Yeah. yeah. You did. <laughs> okay. So how do you go about incorporating like healthy foods? I mean, like healthy cooking into. So what I so. We again, when you reach a certain age, you have to be healthy mm-hmm. because our you know things start hanging and slowing down. So you have to. Don't tell her that because she's all us old. Oh, see, mm-hmm. but y'all still fly. So, <laughs> <laughs> but that just brought in like the olive oil. Like I mean, and and it's sad to say that in our culture, we don't know what to do with olive oil. Mm-hmm. Right. You don't mm-hmm. fry it, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like it's, <laughs> it's you know. Like, I had somebody, you know, they, I have, like, the, is it in my purse? So, this big, this is vinegar, but it's the same size as oil. So, they use this whole bottle to fry chicken. What the hell? And it's just, like, that's a waste, right? It's a complete and total waste waste because you're supposed to saute Saute in it or either top it with your food after. So, I have 27 different flavors. Mm -hmm. So, basically... What you do is, like, if you want to eat healthy, you flavor your food with this, and you don't have to add all those other, you know, artificial. Right. right. So that champagne vinaigrette that you guys ate, mm-hmm. there that's vegan. It's all natural. There's nothing in there except for oil, vinegar, mustard, some olive oil, and an orange. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's it. Really so, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, online. That's, that's online. Mm-hmm. Did you bring anything to the sale? No, I did not. I, brought, I actually brought you guys gift gift baskets. I mean, gift bags though. So you don't have to purchase, but but yeah, but everything is available online. Okay. Um, but you know, so that's part of being you know healthy because you know because a lot of times, like let's like say we just ate that salad over there, that's cute. we're adding you know cheese right. and croutons. Mm-hmm. You didn't need it. All you needed right. was some right. toasted right. nuts, a mm-hmm. um, right. little bit of cheese, and, and vinaigrette, exactly. and that's it. But you know that's our culture, though we want right. to but spice and, it up. Mm-hmm. But that's so. My cookbook is releasing on the fourteenth, um, but my book launch is on the sixteenth, and all of that is in there. Oh, like it's okay. so it's more than a cookbook to me because it's it it. it, it, it like we we're just talking about when you go to the supermarket, like don't go hungry. Like yeah. there's like there there's a section that's in the that's in the book that's called protect your pocketbook. Right. Mm-hmm. And protecting your pocketbook means a lot. Like it talks about food waste. It talks mm-hmm. about not going to the the not going to the store hungry. It talks about uh, what to get from the supermarket to make a list. And mm-hmm. and it also talks about like I always like to shop the perimeter. Mm-hmm. I don't oh, order I heard about that. Yeah. That's where all the junk food that's is. That's right? where that's where yeah. all the junk food is. You don't need to go there. Everything you need is around the is around the perimeter. I just heard that a couple of And weeks I also ago. like to tell people too like whenever I go to the supermarket, I wear my headphones because the stores purposely play that slow music so you're in there just dinking around mm-hmm. putting extra stuff in the car that you really just don't need. Mm-hmm. So it's like I have my headphones. I'm listening to Jeezy, I'm listening to Jay-Z. I'm listening to something upbeat because because you're gonna get in and it's get gonna make out. you walk fast, you're gonna get in, mm-hmm. you're gonna get out, you're gonna get what you need to get, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So, but so being, being being healthy is so important. And then, you know, talking about portion control, like mm-hmm. we, you know, like I that's always like to go back to to, to to growing up to where you want to have that big piece of chicken and the big old stack of greens. Or yeah, the like it's just like, it's like you don't you don't like we don't have to eat like that anymore. Mm-hmm. Like protein should only be twenty percent of your plate. Mm-hmm. So just imagine if if your whole plate the twenty percent was just meat, you're gonna save money because you're buying less meat because mm-hmm. you're eating less, mm-hmm. and you'll be surprised that you still get full the same. Yeah, but you're just spending less money. So so you're Biggest portion that's on your plate should actually be your vegetable. Then okay. it should be your starch. Then it should be your protein. Okay. So, you know, 50% of your plate should be your vegetables. And vegetables are the least expensive. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then starch is the least expensive, but, so it, but it makes you full at 30. And then 20% should be your, um, should actually be your protein. And I tested it with my parents first. And they literally... Um, change the way that they ate because I'm like, okay, you don't need that big piece of chicken. You don't need that big piece of, you know, you don't need that. Just eat more vegetables and it makes you summertime fine. Right. And literally, yeah. and it's like that you're saving so much more money. Gotcha. Um, and I did this series on my, on my Instagram maybe like a year ago to where I spent $50 for a whole week of food. 
Oh, and really? that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm talking family or just a family of a four. Oh, wow. $50. I need to look at that. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm tell- it's, it's so super simple. It's literally about portion control. You're not hungry, and I eat all day. Like, mm. I eat like every two or three hours. Which I you're am supposed to. Exactly. You're so, I am an eater. It literally boils down to what you're eating and how much you're eating. Right. Mm-hmm. So, it's like I can make a ro- I can make a rotisserie chicken last maybe six meals oh, okay. literally just a rotisserie chicken you can get it from costco or you can yeah costco make like your own bigger ones yeah. they Two do in a pack. right <laughs> so like literally in a pack. so it's like from that one chicken i'm able to make six meals oh. and that's for a family of four that's awesome. so, and is that gonna be in the cookbook as yep well? okay. it is okay. so it is definitely doable i'm all about protecting your pocketbooks okay. because okay. i mean because when you when you do that, you're helping the environment, you're helping your pocketbook, and then you're also helping your family eat better. That's cool. Oh, we got I did about, what is it, the waste not what now? Waste not what now. Mm-hmm. I was looking at that the other day, and I thought it was kind of cool what you said about the cereal, because I'm thinking, yeah. I'm going to throw these cereal away. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I can do some stuff with you these cereal You can, now. and that is all in the book, too. It's like, you don't have to, like... We have a no waste kitchen. I don't throw away anything. And you know, so you find the use for everything. For everything, I think even spoils. even this lemon. Like I'm like, dang. But I know I can't reuse it because that's yeah. un- because that's yeah. unsanitary. But even like like lemon rinds, I will make lemon pepper seasoning from this. Oh. I'll make some lemon potpourri. Mm-hmm. Like there's so many different things. Like I don't make. I don't waste anything. Because I had, awesome. I was watching, um, was it the cooking? It wasn't the cooking channel, it was Home and Family. And the lady was making, they was making homemade creamers. Mm-hmm. And she said you can use like almond milk and this and that. Yes. And instead of putting starch in, she said you can put grapes in. Exactly. I mean raisins, let me correct myself. And it thickens it. And she said the best ones are even the ones that you think are stale in the cabinet. Don't throw them away. Exactly. Put them in there and let them sit all and night. And it thickens oh, exactly. up. Yeah, it or, thickens the stuff up. Or, or, or like even fruit that's going to go to waste. Put that in the freezer and make uh-huh. smoothies. I mean, like, there's yeah. so many. Or either put it in your ice cubes and make pretty water. Like, there's so many things you can mm-hmm. use for anything. See, but it's I'm like, you, see, they laugh at me because I'll be freezing up everything. I right. freeze everything though. But or either or like um like I like on a maybe like Thursday, like right before it's time for me to go to the supermarket, I make like a dump meal. Whatever is in the refrigerator mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is I'm putting Definitely. it in whatever it is that I'm eating, whether mm-hmm. it's spaghetti, whether mm-hmm. it's a pasta, whatever. I mean, it's still food. It's going to taste good. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and I use up everything. Like, I don't even, like, when I peel, like, my fruit and vegetables, I use that as compost for my garden. Okay. I don't waste That's anything. That's right. That's right. That's like, and it's like, I'm Egg telling shell. you. She don't throw away Egg shell. Yeah. She I don't throw, throw away the coffee grinds. Mm-hmm. I don't throw yeah. away anything. You keep everything. everything yes. And there is literally a use for everything. Mm-hmm. You save a lot of money that way. When I do. say, now, mind you, we eat extremely well. Mm-hmm. My grocery bill is probably like 80 to to $100 a week. Oh, wow. And that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And mm-hmm. I cook. You guys see my Instagram? Mm-hmm. Like, I cook food. Wow. And wow. it's and it's literally because it's portion control, what, what, what you're eating, and knowing what to purchase. Like, I I'm don't buy, it. like, chicken broth. I the bones from the the bones. I still got my yeah. turkey bones in the freezer. Exactly. You yeah. make your Shrimp, you make your broth uh, from soup. Yeah. the shells from the I shrimp. use the shell and yeah. I make a broth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can use that even for like the stuff, even right? like the mm-hmm. and even like the crab like like the, the crab, crab legs. legs. Oh yeah. I use that as a chicken too. stock. Like you literally there's a, there's a use for everything. You don't have to throw anything away. And if you just think about it, but that's what the book is also going to do. It's, it's it's literally going to force you to think before uh-huh. you throw that away. Away. Because literally, that's that's your money. Right. I mean, that you're throwing away. and it's just like like wasting food to me is just like it just really doesn't make it sense. Feels bad. Feel yeah, bad. it's just like why are you it's throwing that like, away? Yeah. I, do, I, do, I feel bad when I waste food. Yeah, you and you should. Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> on that, though. Mm-hmm. I am like I mean, but but like you know, the book summarizes you know what what we're talking about but literally it's a mind shift Mm -hmm. it's like you literally have to get in the habit of not wanting to waste food but you know going to the supermarket that's where waste begins with consumers first is because you gotta think about um 40 percent of what you buy goes to waste Mm -hmm. so that's basically like you you having a hundred dollars and throwing away forty dollars like just throwing it out the window so just think about that when you go Mm -hmm. shopping so so 
or it may help some people if you go so I used to go to the supermarket every day mm-hmm. because that way I'm getting what I need I'm yeah. going to eat it but I but I spend more I spend more, more I spend more money that way so before I go to the supermarket I have my meal plan already written out oh, I have my grocery list and I go shopping in my pantry first. So I go shopping based on what I already have. Mm-hmm. So it's like if I, okay, so let's say, but I make everything from scratch. So I'm just trying to think of like a good example. If I know I have like some heavy cream in the mm-hmm. fridge, I know I'm going to make, I'm going to make maybe like a fettuccine or mm-hmm. something because I already, you know, have that. Yeah, so, yeah. so now all I have to get is pasta mm-hmm. because I already have, the, you know, the cream, I have the cheese, I have the butter. So I have one meal. I'm mm-hmm. buying just a box of pasta. That's oh smart. Ninety nine cent. Smart. Mm-hmm. So okay, so that's one meal. Ninety nine mm-hmm. cent for one meal. Got so me. then, if I already have like some tomato paste, okay, I'm gonna make, you know, maybe like some ravioli. So now I know all I have to get is a ravioli um, noodles. So okay, so that's another meal for ninety nine cents. Mm-hmm. So that's really how you have to go shop and go shopping in your pantry anything. first. Wow. Exactly, okay. use up what you have before you go buy anything else. Because that's how you get waste because you keep buying stuff. And you keep it buying stuff of, exactly. Of, so like my pantry is literally bare. Mm-hmm. Um, but I went to so I'm, I was supposed to go shopping today, but I didn't. So I'm, so I'm going to go tomorrow. <laughs> so everything is bare except for. What I know that I'm going to build off of to make my menu for the week. Yeah. Okay. So, smart. so within the book, it already has your shopping list in there. It's going to have your meal prep items already in there. So that all that's all included. So even if you say that you don't have a list of what it's in the book. Mm-hmm. So all you have to do is, is, is make copies of it and it's there for you to have. So there's no excuses as mm-hmm. to why you can't save money, mm-hmm. why you can't lose weight, why you can't do all those mm-hmm. things. It's literally like a one stop shop. Gotcha. Awesome. I love it. Me too. When did that come out again? Right. Um, February 14th gotcha. is, the, is the release date, oh, but the book launches the 16th. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Yes. exactly. Yes. It's definitely yes. sexy. Why she think she married? She answered everything. No answer. Did you want to talk more about the waste, not what not, or anything and all of that? Um, you know what? I just think that people, like, I think that, um, once people get the book, just go to www.chicchefco.com. That's C H I C C H E F C O.com. You can pre pre order the book, and it literally just tells you everything like mm-hmm. about the cause okay. in the book. Because I can okay. literally talk about food waste. Oh, so all you got day. them tied together. Yes. Gotcha. So everything is all tied together. So every event that I have, the majority of the proceeds go to waste, not want not. Okay. Because I think it's so important. So like you know, I go out to schools and I help kids build you know gardens. Gardens. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I teach them how to grow, how to grow their own food, which is another mm-hmm. uh, way of saving money is growing your own food. Like mm-hmm. it's so inexpensive to grow your own food. Mm-hmm. It's time consuming, mm-hmm. but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. I'm just gonna yeah. hire somebody to take care of my garden. Say See, mm-hmm. take care of it. <laughs> well, you know, make my grandma come out. Yeah, they start yeah. with herbs or something. Just mm-hmm. like you know, That's you know, small. for right now, just 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 something small. But like literally, it. It just brightens up your home when you just yeah. even have herbs because you can, you know, smell them and makes the oxygen better. Yeah, you it, yeah it does. I mean, yeah. it just, I mean, just like food is medicine to me. It is really our medicine. It is. Yeah. It is. Especially when it looks pretty. It, yeah. That's the, that is the most important part. Mm-hmm. Presentation. Presentation is everything. Oh, we know that. Yeah. 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 On point, like your makeup. Thank you. But she's like, thank you. Thanks. (laughs) (laughs) We did a good job. (laughs) Do you ladies have any more questions for us tonight? Mm, I think you'll ask so many questions. We got a lot out of you. I I appreciate you saying you don't like talking about yourself, but I feel like we got so much out of you with like few questions. Yes. Yes. You did very well. Once I start to ramble, I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about myself. But right. I don't, though. I, no, but you did good. I though. hate it. I and hate it was it. all natural. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. fluffed yeah. up. Yeah. And, you know, so nope. we definitely appreciate that. Because that's all going to go into people valuing me. Right. Because you right. have to, you gotta you're getting an opportunity to get to know me. So I'm going to add value to Wait, your kick life. that back in. Exactly. Yeah. 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 that back in. All the way from the beginning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, do you have any upcoming events? I know we heard we know, about them. Yeah, we know, but just to tell them so they know. Oh, my goodness. I have several, but I have my book launch in Phoenix, which is February the 16th. Um, 
on February the 24th in LA. We're going to have a tea party, which is so much fun. Um, you know, just give women the opportunity to get together, to have tea, to, you know, to, 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 to look dainty and cute with the fascinator mm-hmm. and the gloves on. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be talking about mental health. Are you going to have a big fascinator or a small one? I'm going to have a small one. <laughs> I'm going to have a small one. Yeah, I'm going to have a tiny one. You say you're going to talk about mental health. That's, that's my feeling. That is. I mean, we're definitely going to talk about mental health. We're just... Just talk about all things women, and I know that mental mental health is something that we like to graze over, like mm-hmm. it's not like a real thing. Right. And the community, our black community, exactly, oh, they crazy. yeah, that's we, how they oh, they just crazy, exactly, or either that's just or or that that's just how they are. It's mm-hmm. time that we stop doing that mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. really get down to the root of issues, and you know, going to counseling and talking to people about your issues, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just, you know, we're going to talk about healthy, healthy food options. We're going to motivate and empower and inspire. Mm -hmm. And those are all things that are really important. And, um, in March, we're in Houston, Mm -hmm. April, I have another book launch in New York, mm-hmm. and then May, uh, we're having um, the Wine Expo, that the Wine Expo, at. which I cannot <laughs> wait. I'm super excited mm-hmm. about that. That's going to be the biggest event. It's going to be about four or five hundred people. Oh, wow. oh really? So we're having a huge expo. Yes. Mm. So Ooh, it's going to be, be yeah. It's going to be. <laughs> don't be scared now. Don't, don't be scared. Don't be scared, don't be scared, don't be scared now. Man. You yeah, need that. It's time for you to show up and right. show out. <laughs> Miami needs to hear sitting pretty podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my goodness! But yeah, so it's 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 gonna be a huge opportunity. Just so much wine, and you know, it's just gonna be fun. And I couldn't think of any other place to do that besides Miami. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just like the perfect place. And to, that time of year, too. exactly. Yeah. It's you know, it's not too hot. It won't be too humid outside mm, but won't just be no hurricane nothing <laughs> so just like the perfect <laughs> opportunity no. mm-hmm. oh, well, we, yeah. I'll, I'll ask you when the mics go on okay <laughs> yeah because we didn't get that answer right. yes, because that will okay. determine where we stay so okay okay all right, and then before we end off, do you want to go ahead and shout out your social media and where they can find you at? Yes, you can find me at Nick the Chic Chef. That's N I K C H I C C H E F. And um, that's my handle on every social media site Twitter and also Facebook. Shop the products at chicchefco.com. And Chic Chef Co is um, Facebook, Instagram, and um, Twitter. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Oh, no, you yeah. came and like she said, showed up. Right. 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 It was all the boss. It was well, all, all the boss. 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 Drop any popcorn too. Well, that's that's what y'all want now. Get out to the bird outside. Get out to the bird. <laughs> I was going to tell her to eat. <laughs> y'all are silly. Oh, All right. No, but I want to say yeah, thank you. And I feel like you have a lot to offer to the yeah. world. Thank yeah. you so keep much. Keep pushing, keep shining. Yeah. Yeah. You're beautiful. You thank have you. a beautiful thing going. And yeah. we support you. Thank 100%. you. I appreciate that. And I can't wait for us to collaborate on something. Oh, girl, it's coming. Yeah. Okay. It I'm super definitely. excited. I'm super excited. Sure, Y'all don't know how excited I am over here. You got nervous for a second. Yeah. She right, she did. Right, she did. When I said what? When she said how many people in my head. Oh, yeah. Right. Wait a minute. We're going to do what? No, no that's the best out. way. It's, no, it's literally, look, no. it's literally sink or swim. And you guys have a beautiful mm-hmm. thing going on. And the world needs to know about it. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate yeah. that. Appreciate that. Very much. All right. Well, like I said, once again, you got a big, warm thank you. Thank you so pretty much. Yes. Thank really you. Really appreciate it. So much. Oh, I, yeah, I had really a great nice. time. It was thank just you. like a, it was a girls' night out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Girls yeah. That's what we try to make it like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love it. Lively. Mm-hmm. Are y'all ready to sign up? Some lively. We ready. Oh, I got something to say. I'll tell y'all about that after, but go ahead. <laughs> What's What's no, I'll say it later. Go ahead. Okay. Well, Queen B, we out. It's Kimmy. Spicy tea. It's tea to the end. And Nick the Chic Chef. My daddy taught me well, so I don't with the snitches. Nah, nah. Just know I'm bougie, and you gotta what? <laughs> Deal with it. Bougie gang, 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 bougie gang. Got two necklaces from
tip plays, my ice ten times, you know, friends. You better back off before you get got. I'ma knock you with my rose gold wristwatch. Y'all think this is a game, but I'm spinning facts. My middle name is